Hello everybody, this is Nuzcraft and welcome to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different today, where we're going to be going on a gathering quest. But in order to start our gathering quest, we need to combine some items. Now, very specifically, we're going to be looking to combine for golden fish bait, because we are going to learn how to catch golden fish today. And I'm not 100% sure what the combination is. I believe it starts with snake bee larva here. And it looks like I can combine that with fireflies here. And we can get some golden fish bait. Now, the success rate on a golden fish bait combination is only 90%. So 9 out of 10 times, we will successfully create a golden fish bait but I want to increase that percentage. So I'm going to come out here to the lady and we are going to buy to our box. Book of Combos 1, which is an intro text for first time combiners and is going to improve our combining success rate. We're going to grab Book of Combos 1. Yes. And we're going to grab Book of Combos 2. And now we're going to have no money. And that's okay. So then we're gonna come back to our house. We're gonna look to combine items. Once again, we're gonna combine Firefly with Snake Bee Larva. And we see that the success rate has jumped up to 100%. Um, just by having those combo books, they're here in our box. Actually, I can show them to you. Here at the top. Combo book one and combo book two, just by having those in our box, it boosts our combination rate up to 100% for golden fish bait, which is good. We're gonna want like five of these before we go out on our quest. And so let's take out some items. Golden fish bait. We have one. Oh, we have one frog. That's good. We're gonna need that for Plesioth when we get there. We're gonna grab our golden fish bait, and we will be off on our quest to catch some golden fish. I understand that this can be kind of tough for people who don't come into the quest prepared, and so I kind of wanted to show how you can combine for golden fish bait and be ready for a quest like this where we need to go fishing, it's in the desert, we need to deliver two golden fish from the Twilight Fisherman. Fishing. It carries on in the hearts of children and remains a simple pleasure for adults. Harken back to a simpler time and bring me back two of the desert's most precious gift, golden fish. Now if you're having trouble getting snake bee larva, I would recommend talking to this woman right here. She's not always going to have snake bee larva in her offerings, but when she does, pick up a few of them and you'll be all set for a quest like this. All right, so here in the desert, we'll grab a map. Some of this stuff, it gives us hot drinks instead of cool drinks, and that should indicate which direction we're going to want to go. It also gives us some worms. And so instead of going out into the hot, hot desert, we are actually going to come this way. We're going to drink our hot drink. We're going to get our worms and our golden fish bait ready, and we're going to hop down the well. Hopping down the well puts us in area six, and because we already drank our hot drink, we don't have to worry about losing stamina or anything like that. We can mine at this crack, and then we can go out and look for some golden fish. Oh no. It didn't actually help me, Telly. So we can come down here, 
There's some gen prey that we can deal with. We don't want them disturbing our fishing. We will also be able to do a little bit of bug catching. Man. Ellie is trying to get me killed. The Vespoid might cause us a little bit of trouble. Oh, looks like we got another Gen Prey. And it's possible that there are other fishing spots. I'm pretty sure there's one down here. Go ahead and search for that. Ah yes, right here. We have a nice little fishing spot. And if we cast our is that a golden fish in there already? We're gonna we're gonna just use our worms and see if we can catch one of these green fish. Because maybe that's a golden fish. And if it is. Up, it's a burst arowana. What we want to do is we want to cast our golden fish bait, and what that's going to do is it's going to cause. Um, I don't know what it's going to do. Okay. Hey, Telly, you're not helping. Actually, not sure what the golden fish bait is going to do. I expected it to make all of the other fish go away and cause only golden fish to go after it. At least that's what it does in other games. I guess what it'll do is if there's a golden fish in the pond, then the golden fish is the only one that'll go for the golden fish bait. So maybe we need to use our worms. to try and filter out the pond a little bit. I did not bring any other extra bait. And so this might be, this might be kind of bad. It was early there. Ah, I believe that's a golden fish. So we'll switch over to our golden fish bait. And presumably the golden fish is the only one that's going to go for this bait. Oh, I jumped the gun. You know what? The fishing minigame is fun sometimes, and sometimes it's just painful. Fortunately, we've got no more Vespoids coming at us. Oh, there we go. There's a big pull. And our golden fish is there. All right, we've got two more worms to try and weed out this pond a little bit. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to try the zone method. Which basically just says that fish will repopulate the ponds when you enter and exit a zone. And so, yep, there is no golden fish in there anymore. So let's try the let's try the zone method. We can do a couple little gatherings and see how things go. There is probably another fishing spot somewhere on this map. We just may not know where it is. Okay. 
a few bugs. I think we still want some thunder bugs for when we go for the, we can go ahead and get rid of our rations. That's fine. We go for the Kezu shock sword. So getting thunder bugs is good. Um, let's go ahead and exchange our mini wets. Since I don't expect we will need to do a whole lot of sharpening. I'm just checking the water to see if there's any additional spots where we might be able to do some fishing. And so we're going to head into zone 4. And then back into zone 6. Notice there is one Gen Prey that has respawned. We'll go ahead and take it out. And then we will... Well, I mean, I guess we can just take a look at the fishing spot first. So we've got three Arowana. Oh, I can't tell if one of those is maybe a golden fish. Or if they're all arowana. They're all arowana. That's fine. Let's go ahead and exit this direction instead. Let's see if that is a little bit faster. It does kind of aggro the Vespoid when we come back. So let's go up here to seven and let's check and see if there's a fishing spot over here. Right, there is a fishing spot, but I don't see any golden fish. Apseros is going to try and mess with us. So no golden fish there. We will head back into the cave and see if we can find it again. So if we didn't have the golden fish bait what we would basically do is we would basically sit at one of these fishing stations and just fish until we ran out of bait and hope that we got our two golden fish. And if we didn't, we'd have to go like try and find some more bait on the ground somewhere. Well, thank you, Telly. Really don't like Vespoids. There's another golden fish. So we throw this bait in. We hope that the Vespoid leaves us alone and keeps bothering Telly for a while. Oh, Telly killed it. Good job, Telly. And there we go. We have caught our second golden fish. And so, um, to my knowledge, this is one of the better ways to take on some of these golden fish quests. It's really to just make some golden fish bait. Um, zone, when you need to switch the, the, pool, the ponds around, switch which fish are in the ponds. Um, actu actually know where the fishing spots are, right? There's a fishing spot in six, and there's one in seven. There might be other fishing spots in this map that I just don't know about. But at the end of the day, having the golden fish bait is really the golden ticket to finishing these quests in a reasonable amount of time.
I was gonna gather and then I realized that my bag is full. And it doesn't matter. So we're just going to return. And that's pretty much gonna be it. We went through crafting golden fish bait, we took on the quest, we caught our golden fish, we talked about zoning to switch out the ponds. I mean, that's pretty much all you need to know for these golden fish quests. Not really sure what kind of rewards we're gonna be getting. Oh, it's more fish. We got fireflies, pin tuna, rumblefish, rumblefish, burst arowana, bomb arowana. It's actually not bad in terms of rewards, especially if you're pining for fish. Oh, and Telly found power seeds, felvin, thunderbugs, iron ore, and red seeds. Good job, Telly. And we got some money back. Perfecto. So that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. This was Nuzcraft, and we'll see you in the next one when I promise we are going to hunt a monster. <laughs>